Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with his house and with all who live here. And also with you. May the God, whom we glorify with one heart and voice, enable us through the Spirit to live in harmony as followers of Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Amen. When Christ took flesh through the Blessed Virgin Mary, he made his home with us. Let us now pray that he will enter this home and bless it with his presence. May he always be here among you. May he nurture your love for each other, share in your joys, comfort you in your sorrows. Inspired by his teachings and example, seek to make your new home before all else a dwelling place of love, diffusing far and wide the goodness of Christ. Brothers and sisters, listen to the words of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. <coughs> the Lord said to the 72, Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. 
stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter, and they welcome you. He ate what is set before you. Cure the sick in it, and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be Happy are those who fear the Lord. Happy are those who fear the Lord. Happy the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Response. Happy are those who fear the Lord. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His generosity shall endure forever. He dawns through the darkness, a light for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Response. Happy are those who fear the Lord. Well for the man who is gracious and legs, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just man shall be in everlasting remembrance. Response. Happy are those who fear the Lord. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear, till he looks down upon his foes. Response. Happy are those who fear the Lord. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Response. Happy are those who fear the Lord. The Lord will build a house for us. Uh, occasions like this, visiting the blessing of a house is really a special occasion for family, relatives, and friends to be together. And I guess this is one big occasion where you know, we experience the blessing of family, loved ones, and friendship. So today we are thankful to, to God, especially for His blessings on Dr. Rovell and Blanche and Marikin that we are bringing here together. We are all invoking God's uh, love, protection, and blessing for them. And uh, our own persons are themselves blessings among us. Okay, what we heard from the Gospel of uh, St. Matthew or St. Luke, is a tree that we into whatever house we enter, we greet and we bring our peace. You know, the peace of mind, peace of heart is the greatest blessing that uh, we can really ask God for. I'm sure you all know, no matter how many mansions or riches or wealth we have, but if you don't have peace of mind and heart, then something is basically uh, lacking or missing. And we can only have that when we are <coughs> one with the Lord, one with Jesus. So, really, I guess this occasion is what we pray for the family of uh, Dr. Noel, Dr. Blanche, and my kid, and for all their loved ones, relatives, and friends. But today we bring Jesus his peace, his love, his mercy, his compassion, his kindness, and forgiveness. When we bless a house or anything, we sprinkle, we sprinkle holy water to drive away evil spirits. But at one occasion, the Lord said, evil comes from inside our hearts, evil thoughts, and unkind uh, words. at peace with ourselves, with God, and with one another, and then we share the blessing of our persons, the gifts of ourselves with the people we are with. So we are really invoking God's love, God's spirit of love, to really dwell in this house where the spirit of love, God's spirit is, that we are assured of the abundant blessings for the family and for our friends. And this we are going to continue with uh, intercessions for them and for ourselves.